I wanted to, even though it's, it's seen as a little spinner thing, I've tried to prevent the spin, but really, you're the only person that would have had a real one of these uh, that's walked into this bar. So tonight, we're going to be awarding that to our winning team. Uh, now, Brett, you've had uh, a bunch of stuff happen recently, including the Bret Hart Appreciation Night uh, in Calgary. How was that for you? Which was an amazing, yeah. well, amazing show. Uh, we got to see it here live in Canada on the score, which was very cool for the score to do that. How was that night? That had to be amazing. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a big night. Uh, Thank by you, the way, Brett. <laughs> by, by the way, I also want to let you know, uh, tonight, here on this stage, Pat Patterson jokes, absolutely welcome. <laughs> that was, I thought Pat enjoyed it. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, probably would have. Well, we won't take it there yet. We won't take it there yet. Uh, now, on that, Brett, tonight uh, you are judging, and I know that you're, uh, you're quite critical of, uh, of wrestling matches, and I'm wondering if you're going to be the same way about the scenes tonight, because uh, just uh, earlier on this year, there was a report that came out that you gave Triple H an Undertaker a 4 out of 10 at WrestleMania. So will your judging here tonight be that harsh? i got to call it the way I see it. There you go. <laughs> you know what I see happening here? Tough but fair. <laughs> Tough but fair. Tonight you're judging out of five. All I'll say, maybe give them room to grow. But I'll leave it to you, my friend. Leave it to you. Oh, call it straight down the line like I always do. <laughs> straight down the middle. A little bit of Bill Alfonso for you there. All righty. Are you ready to get this thing going? I'm ready to color over the lines. All right. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Your first scene, the returning champions here tonight. Uh, they have won numerous times. Let's welcome... Boobs and bums! Alright, alright. Let's start with the 
racist jokes, everybody. Good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, that scene is for first of the night. So here we're going to test you guys. Just uh, choose a number that you like that you think that it was rated, okay? Was that scene a one? A two? A three? Yeah! Very strong three. A four? Yeah! Or a five? Yeah! Okay, one, two, two people, five. Five. I appreciate your excitement level and enthusiasm, but that scene was a three from the audience. Uh, Brent the Hitman Hart. Uh, you have a scale of five. You saw that scene. What did you think that it rated? A three as well. Agree with the audience there. That is a six that we're going to start with. Now, I'll let you know, there's another little sideline that's happening here, Brett. You're from Calgary, of course, born and bred. Calgary! We have, we have some weird names on the board, including a Team Calgary that is coming up a little bit later, uh, as well as one half of the muggers, uh, Calgarian as well, or spent some time there. Just saying! <laughs> Just saying, it was discussed in the back. I wanted to put it all up front. So we don't just, you know, go wrong by the end. So let's get them up here. One half Calgary, and here they are. T the Muggers! <laughs> outside of Holmesville. Uh, you know, on the other side of Seaforth, just south of Luxembourg, I can do that all day. And I know all those places because I grew up uh, outside of a hamlet, outside of a town called Wingham, Ontario. Oh, oh man! What now? Oh, yeah, dry candy, candy, buddy! Dry oh, man! Candy. Effie Medill, home of the Mustangs, uh, home of CKNX, or radio, and AM and FM, and it also used to have a TV station. It did, and it I was uh, Central oh, Huron. Yeah. Boo! Uh, history! Boo! <laughs> Uh, my team, my high school team was the Red Men. Let's not talk about how racist that is. Uh, uh, also, about, we, we love being from small towns, but we also love living here in the city because you people think all sorts of crazy things that happen in yeah, small yeah, towns. Yeah. Uh, so what, hap what do you think happens in a small town that they do for fun? Sex with animals. Sex with animals. You're not wrong. What else? Push parties. Push party. Oh, God. Yeah, party. You are for sure right. Okay, so Mandy and I, we take you now to a bush party. Yeah, so like, let's go ahead to the bonfire as soon as I tell this girl how much she sucks on the windshield of her van. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having my third uh, pre-drink before we get to this bush party. Cool, I've had like four pre-drinks, so that means I've had one Mike's Hard Lemonade. Nice. <laughs> I gotta catch up, I'm on my third OV. I gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that from your dad? Yeah. Great, I love OV. It's the best. <laughs> you are a slut. <laughs> hey, Brenda. Yeah? Peter? Before we get to this bush party, you know how earlier we were talking about how you were the best and I was the best? Yeah, when we were at prom. Yeah. Well, wouldn't we be the best together? <laughs> like, do you mean like together like at Westcast, the factory where we both work at? Or like together as in like in my mom and dad's attic? Can it be both? <laughs> I was hoping you would say 
say that. We could schedule shifts next to each other on the assembly line at the factory. <laughs> and we could hang out more in the attic. Peter, there's something I have to tell you. I've applied for and been accepted to Conestoga College. What? <laughs> You're going all the way to Kitchener? I don't heard about robotics, Peter! And 45 minutes away from town is like a lifetime. Oh, man, I'm so angry! Nope, that's a dime. <laughs> That's a real thing that's gonna happen. For or sure it's gonna okay, happen. Okay. So I just wait for two years and just work alone at the factory? Lie away and wait for me, Peter. Because I... I'll be back to you and I'll have a degree in secretary management. <laughs> Maybe you could get a better job at the factory. What? You, do you mean at human resources? I could never do that. I'm not smart enough. You are smart enough. You were smart enough to write that that girl was a slut on her windshield. Well, I wrote slut with an E at the end, so slut. <laughs> I never noticed that so you're smarter than me. Peter, promise me that when I get back from Conestoga College and secretary management, you'll wait for me. I will. I'll be here waiting for you to manage all those secretaries. <laughs> I'm sure there are many to be managed, because for sure our town is going to grow and be big and not shut down like most of the towns around here. <laughs> Let's go to that bush party and tell everybody that we're together. Except for that sleuth Mackenzie. She's the worst. <laughs>
explains all the nice areas yeah. of Toronto. It's really, I got a place near the Taco Bell on Queen Street. It's really <laughs> nice. And people just yell at me. It's great. It's great. And I was walking, and you got some brothers here. Because we don't got brothers in Calgary, you know what I mean? Brothers. That means black people. Black people. And like, I was walking down the street, and like, there were these brothers sitting, and I walked by, and they just stopped. They're like, nice Jordans. And I'm like, thank you. And I pounded one of them, and I walked away. <laughs> And I, and I just kept walking, like, don't look back, don't show weakness, don't show weakness, don't think you're cool. Oh, you belong here. I kind of go, uh, you know, this is my place. Uh, do you guys, you guys want to do, uh, you guys want to do a scene? Let's, uh, let's do a word at a time. And uh, from the audience here, from this very good looking audience here, uh, where, where's a place you wouldn't go as kids? Like, you're wondering. <laughs> Take these broken wings and learn 
fuck you fly. The fuck happened oh, to the Asian guy? Black guy's gone. Is this me? Did you get scared that there was a black guy in the audience? And oh! as present as Asian guys are in fact. What? To you did that is incorrect. I have 45 minutes to get there, okay? Also, 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 another favorite was when someone yelled uh, a, parent, a place you don't want your parents to go, or your parents don't want you to go, and someone yelled Calgary, and Gavin did this. The intimidating Gavin in the background. All right. That scene, uh, was it a one? Yes. A two? <laughs> Calgarians. Number three, uh, you just love them because they're from Calgary. Which way are you going to play it, Brett? What's your number? Uh, it's, it's a really tough decision because I'm in Toronto. Yes? <laughs> yeah. I got the whole team here. Oh, oh, I see, I see. And, and then again, I'm from Calgary, so it's like... You're, you're, I don't know what that means. Yes. So, um, it's a tough one. I'm in the, I'm in the middle here. You know. Two and a half. No half, no half points. Um, Too much math. I have to give at least a three. At least a three. At least a three or a three. A three. A three it is. All right, it's six. There we go. Okay. Very close game at this point. Second round is what we're into, guys. And second round, it gets fucking intense. We are going to rearrange the order. Woo! Holy, that's really, that's the only difference. I'll play different games. Uh, all right, so we are going to rearrange the order. That means we're going to start right here. The muggers, bring them back. character switch and we're going to get some uh, characteristics for both of us to play in this scene and then Mark will call switch from the booth over the microphone and then we'll swap characters. So, so I'm going to make let's, this yeah, as hard as possible. Crazy as possible. Go right. For it. So for me, um, I'm, I pride myself on being superb at accents and affectations. Paraplegic! Oh, okay. Yes, the, I don't get the, the, the accent, accent of a paraplegic. Of paraplegic. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, though. So is there, like, an accent or an ethnicity? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Everyone be quiet. Now yell it. already established we're from small towns, so Jamaican's gonna go, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I know we heard paraplegic, and believe me, nothing better on a stage than to play paraplegic. Because <laughs> as soon as you get down here, no one can see you. Uh, but uh, let's give me something physical to play. Superman. Some physical... Jittery! I'm jittery? Oh, no. Stay home, Dad! I like jittery yeah. Superman. Yes. I like I like jittery, but I also like staying home dad. <laughs> Brett knows all about physicality. And you know, the physical ailment of being a stay-at-home dad would make you super jittery. So, okay, so just so I know, when we switch, I am Jamaican. And I am, oh guys, jittery, there's alliteration in this. Uh, also, where are we? That's right. Detroit. Detroit. Specifically Detroit as a place. Detroit. I need a new license. I don't get out very much. 
much. Do you drive? I do. I drive a carpool. I drive a carpool full of screaming children every morning. Oh, that sounds like the worst thing that could ever happen to you. <laughs> Which is 
what we go for here. Also, uh, I'm going to play a fun game today to see how many uh, WWE wrestling themes Mark can open scenes with tonight, because that was Kofi Kingston. Uh, I'm the one guy who knew that. All right, uh, that scene, uh, was it a one? Yes! 